The most dynamic horse of his time was Majestic Prince, who could even pack excitement and drama in an afternoon workout. How he loved to run. Bred at Spendthrift Farm in Kentucky, Majestic Prince was a son of the undefeated but unlucky stallion Raisa Native, who was retired at two due to an injury. His sire, Native Dancer, lost but one race, and Majestic Prince would emulate his grandsire. Thus, three generations with but two defeats. In the 1967 Keeneland Summer Sale, the striking chestnut colt was consigned by his breeder Leslie Combs. Canadian Frank McMahon and his trainer, Hall of Fame jockey John Longdon, had decided to buy the colt with cost being no object. $250,000 and five do you want it? Well, I thank you very much and God bless you. At $250,000 and... The quarter million dollars was then a world record for a yearling. For his basic education, the colt, named Majestic Prince, was shipped to Longdon at Santa Anita. Training a thoroughbred is an early morning, seven-day-a-week task. The horse is an athlete, and he must be legged up gradually until enough stamina is developed to finally test his speed. For Longdon, it was a labor of love. The Derby at Santa Anita has special meaning for Western racing since it usually decides which colt will challenge the East in Kentucky. Majestic Prince came to the Santa Anita Derby undefeated after five races. As commanding physically as he was overpowering as a runner, he was the darling of the crowd. Jockey Bill Hartack, noted for being an astute, intelligent horseman, was picked to ride Majestic Prince. There we go. Mr. Jeff is going to the front. Right cross is second. Mahomes Jr. is third. Majestic Prince is fourth. Big Mouth Sam is fifth. Go race the win. Lonnie's secret. Passing the stand. On the outside, Mr. Joe F in front of neck. On the rail. Right cross is second. Two lengths. Majestic right Prince is third. Majestic Prince on the outside. It's the Majestic Prince in hand. By two and a half lengths. And now by three lengths. Mr. Joe F is second by three lengths. Right cross is third ahead. On the outside, Nahum Jr. And race the win into the stretch is Majestic Prince. Now being driven lightly by eight lengths. It's Majestic Prince just galloping by six lengths. Mr. Joe F is second. Lonnie Secret is at instant. Majestic Prince beginning to ease up. Bill Hartack is beginning to pull him up now. Majestic Prince winning in a walk by um, 15 lengths. Uh, Mr. Joe F is second. The length of Lonnie Secret day. His next appearance would be attended by the largest Kentucky Derby crowd in the history of the race, and they would see one of the most exciting renewals of this venerable classic, marked by an aggressive, domineering ride by Hartack. All standing easily. And they're off for the lead. That's arts and letters up on the outside. It's Ocean Roar. Ocean Roar gets the lead with Arts and Letters now second along the rail. It's top night. Majestic Prince is up on the outside. A Ray Jet in close quarters is Fleet Ally. Through the stretch, Ocean Roar holding the lead by four and a half lengths. Top Knight is along the rail with Arts and Letters just outside. Ray Jet is third. Majestic Prince is up on the outside. And then we get Fleet Ally. And it's five lengths to Dyke. And the trailer is traffic mark. They continue down the back stretch. Top Knight now by a hit with Ocean Roar second. And up on the outside and moving is Majestic Prince. Still looking for room between horses, arts, and letters. Dyke has now moved into fifth. They're on the turn. Top Knight is the leader. Top Knight is leading by a hit, but outside is Majestic Prince. Inside is arts and letters and gets through. Arts and letters now gets to the lead. The leader by ahead, Majestic Prince is second on the outside, and Dyke is moving up very quickly. Top Knight has dropped back to fourth. They're moving to the stretch. Majestic Prince on the outside, Arts and Letters is on the inside, they're ahead to part. Majestic Prince has the lead by ahead now. That's Arts and Letters, and Dyke is moving up very quickly on the outside. They're coming to the finish, Majestic Prince holding that lead. Arts and Letters is driving along the rail, and Dyke is driving on the outside. 
Majestic Prince is holding on by a head, and he wins it by a head. Archie Leonard is second by a half a length. Dyke is third. The Kentucky Derby is indisputably the one race above all others for racing people. Two weeks later in Maryland, the Preakness, next stop in the Triple Crown Road Show. Again, record crowds and a rerun of the duel with Paul Mellon's Arts and Letters. They're coming through the stretch. The leader is still Majestic Prince, and Arts and Letters is driving. It's going to be a horse race as Majestic Prince holds on, and Arts and Letters is trying. Arts and Letters on the outside. Majestic Prince on the inside. Jay Ray now third. And they're coming to the wire. This is still close. Majestic Prince holding on to that lead, just like the Derby. He wins it by a head. Arts and Letters is second by three and a half to Jay Ray third, followed by Top Knight Alvin. Between the Preakness and Belmont, Majestic Prince developed symptoms which led Longdon to announce that the Colt would not run. As trainer, he was overruled by owner McMahon, and on Belmont Day, the Colt was dutifully loaded for his last start, to this moment proudly undefeated. He would lose this day, but in a race so unlike any other performance that to those who knew the Big Red Colt, the race never happened. They would prefer to remember him at his best in the testing drive at Churchill Downs, where he outfought the best of his generation to fulfill the hopes of millions who recognized the true courage of Majestic Prince.